That's over two dozen eggs a week from a $5 chicken tractor. It's 10 a.m. We're leaving these guys. They were wonderful hosts. We're on our way to Rosemary from Wholesome Roots. This is a homestead where she's got goats and chickens and things like that. It's gonna be good. It's only about an hour away. Let's do this. We just had a pit stop with an old friend, Dan Collins. Sometimes you see him on the chat. Yep, I make it there. Yep. <laughs> so we had a good rest. Now we're heading down to uh, Rosemary's. Excellent. Hello. Nope, that's, there we go. <laughs> All right, on the road again. Look at this beautiful country. We're on back roads today and I am loving it. Look at this. Woo! Another gorgeous Georgia town. It looks like we are there. We got the, they got the camera on me. I'm gonna give them a big honk. afternoon hanging out relaxing a bit with wholesome roots look at this look at this welcome sign they gave is that not amazing they've made us an awesome dinner we're about to take part in that this evening we're gonna go out and do chores we're gonna milk the goats put up the goats move the chickens and collect eggs oh my word we have a toy explosion in here I think you guys need a little bit more cars I think you could use a little bit more toy cars or toy animals Poor kids, they don't have any toy cars or poor toy animals to play with. And look at this kitchen, this old house. I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing in here. <laughs> okay, tell us who you are and what in the world you're cooking. Hi, I'm Rose and I am making some black rice and arboreal rice. And Ryan made grass-fed beef brisket. Woo! That's from Swanson's Family Farm, a local grass-fed beef. Nice. And I'm making some turnips. Nice. And about to throw these greens into the pan. And I think that's it. I think that'll be uh, enough. Will that fill organic, you up? Organic chicken thighs. Oh yeah, organic oh, yeah. chicken thighs as well. Wow. Did you envision eating like this when we left? I didn't. I know, and I don't even have to cook or anything. Know, like, it's amazing. amazing. Brisket? Come on now, guys. Somebody's missing out. What? Did hear that? Thank you very much. It's delicious. You're well, welcome. I don't know that yet. I, just, I, don't, I don't know if it is. Well, it hope, looks delicious. I hope it turned out good. Okay. You like yours, Mr. Brown? I already got some more. This is absolutely delicious. I, I wish I had taste of vision, so you gotta have some of this. Just had a delicious dinner. Check out that sunset. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. We're about to do our chores, but I wanna check in on this interesting neighbor they have here. Anybody there? Oh my word. Look at this old house. Old fireplace. Just a small squared house. A lot of stories here. Lost. I'm just moving their food out of the way. I kind of um, keep everything nearby, water and food, so I can move the chickens and then uh, I fill up a bunch of water buckets so I have water for them. And then I move the chickens every day, try to um, get them to cover all of this pasture right now. Um, the reason I have so many tractors is because I don't only keep them in a straight line like this. Sometimes I also will put them across garden beds and uh, let them tear up the weeds and dig up the ground and poop. Um, I really like the tractor system I have, it keeps them safe. <laughs> uh, one bad thing about the tractors is 
they don't always lay their eggs in the nesting boxes, especially the new chickens. So I'm trying to teach them to lay their eggs in their nesting box. He's just got reused kitty litter boxes for his nest box. We're using some wool in there. That wool is a byproduct of his day job. How much did one of these chicken tractors cost you? Uh, nothing. Not really. Um, I try to use, actually a lot of the material is um, wood that I've salvaged from other projects. All of these chicken tractors are, are is scrap wire, scrap lumber, and did you find scrap tarps or did you have to buy the tarps? I did buy the tarps. But that's Except a pretty, so this is less than, this is less than five dollars then right here. Just the effort and the time. That, that tarp actually came from a, I think it was a gem. It's actually an advertisement. Okay, yeah. And does this, does, does this work to keep the predators out for you? It does so far. Good. Um, here, I, I've had to, I've learned some lessons from past tractors where now I, I reinforce all of them with chicken wire and hog wire or field okay. fencing. And but, what are the sizes? These are all eight by four, one, two, three, four. And then the ones on the very end, those are uh, 10 by five. I decided to try something a little bigger just to see how that worked out. Um, really, I like out. I like my eight by fours better. They're easier to move, and um, our garden beds tend to be four feet wide, so they fit over a garden bed perfectly. When the big ones, um, they kind of overlap a little bit. But how long does it take you to build one of these? That's tough to say because I usually use my spare time to put them together. But I could probably do one in a whole day if I had all day to do it. This is six-way, non-GMO uh, scratch. It's not their primary diet. It's only a treat I got just, just to give it to them every now and again. What's up with all the roosters with your laying hens? Couple reasons, a breeding program so we can try to selectively breed different breeds of chickens and also to help keep them uh, safe from predators if it, and he did get in. He's literally putting it in his ear. Aww. He was trying you guys to put it in the wild ear. flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah, me come. too. Come, you want to you want to come help with the chickens, Mr. Mm -hmm. Brown? You guys want to feed them? Get my scoop, Mr. Brown. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's already had it. All right, dump it in there. Here, let's hold hold it up high. Ready? Good. Good job. What kind of chickens do you have? We have Rhode Island Reds, Easter Eggers, Black Copper Moran. Uh, cream leg bar. What are you doing with the eggs? We eat them mostly. We, we sell them a little bit and we're also gonna try to breed. Um, hatch some chicks for a show coming up in March. Must have got all these. Thank you. The sheep wool is uh, pretty working out pretty well as a nesting material for the chickens because I was having a problem. Every time I put straw in, the chickens would kick it out within 10 minutes. And I just had to keep repeating and keep repeating and eggs were getting gross and um, thought, I work on a sheep farm and I've got bags of wool stored away from shearing last season. Why not give that a try? And so far, so good. They seem to be using it for the most part. They're how many hens do you have in each? The eight by fours are meant to hold seven to eight. Hey, how many comes out a day? I usually can get like four eggs a day right now on wow. a good day. Um, and the numbers are just growing up because the, the days are getting longer. Yes. So they're laying more. We have a lot of new hens that hadn't been laying before. That's over two dozen eggs in a week. Yes. That's incredible. From a $5 chicken coop. Yep. Anybody could do it. You just got to have the time. You vlogging? I'm trying, getting a little here and there. Okay, good. Did you already set up their food in the stalls? No, I haven't. Okay. We're gonna go move the goats in and milk the one. Rosemary, I gotta give it to you. Vlogging with an iPhone and YouTube editor. 
props for not letting anything stop you. That's right. <laughs> Are you gonna have a video about this by the time this goes out? I hope to. Okay, I'll link this. There we go. Getting staged, I'm gonna fill up one bucket and then pour it into each one of them so they'll all have room to eat. What are you feeding them? We are doing non-GMO um, all stock and we're doing alfalfa pellets, sunflower seeds, and oats. All right, we need some more water in here. I also need to make sure I check for um, everybody's waters are full and give some chaff hay, which is a fermented alfalfa hay. Yeah, the maternity stall has a little bit more stuff happening in here. So we're putting a nice fresh layer on top so when they bed down for the night, they have a nice place to sleep and they're not laying in their own feces. So we do a mix of the non-GMO all stock, some alfalfa pellets. Those are really good to make sure that you have those in your doughs that are in milk or pregnant. It's really high protein. Some sunflower seeds to keep a healthy, shiny coat. Not as much on those, just a little bit for flavor and crunch and some oats to keep it diversified. Where do I put it? I saw him take one, I saw him take one out earlier. Okay. Just put it down next to the food bowl and we'll get it when we go out okay. and grab them. We do this because our oats are spoiled. But it also trains them to come right in the barn. When they come in the barn, they go right in the stall. How do they know which stall is theirs? They used to be really good about it and would literally go in the correct stall every every night. Since we got the Alpines last month, they've been way more confused about it. And we kind of have to see who's not paying attention in, in the wrong stall and grab them by the collar and show them to the door and they go in the other one. You ran the tractor? Yeah. Go for it, buddy. In my way. This might go a little uglier than usual because we've never had to separate the mamas with their babies on the coming in at night chore. So this is the first time they're gonna go into a different stall and I'm thinking I might have to like hold the babies and, and that way the mamas will follow me okay. and go into the crack stall, but we'll see. We're gonna do this, hopefully it'll go smooth. <laughs> Got eyes on the babies, they're all with their moms. We might not have to pick them up. They might stay with their mamas. And these goats are gonna come flying out of here and running down the hill. Is everything going good? I think so. I'm gonna see if I can get these mamas to go to the last stall. Nope, they're not. All right, I don't. Uh, 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 I don't want you to get trampled. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go. All right. All right, you guys stay right here. Good, good, girl, good mama. Look at that. They really barely really even looked at the food. They were like, look at the baby. Girl. Yep, you're supposed to be in here. You're not. Nope, nope, nope. You've had it right the first time, mom. Move your butt. So we only had one or two that were in the wrong spot. That's not too bad. Had to grab those babies fast though. Whew. I was scared they were gonna get stepped on. Baby goat in. Come on, let's go see the baby goats. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Brown. Here's one. Here's one. Hey. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that's the wood. That's the wood. That's the wood. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? You like petting the baby goat? You two are cute together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were gonna milk the one, but Rosemary decided she didn't need it. Mr. Brown, you wanna say goodnight? Night, night. Say goodnight to the goats. Night, night, goat. Aww.